I'm Reed Selmer and I'm going to be discussing what fiberglass rebar is, a little bit of history on the material and what its properties are. I'm Caleb Turner and I'm going to be introducing uh, how fiberglass rebar works and its many uses. I'm Bailey Goodwin and I will be discussing the pros and cons of fiberglass rebar. GFRP or what is more commonly referred to as fiberglass, stands for Glass Fiber Reinforced Polymer, and it is a highly durable construction material used for all sorts of different types of construction. For our particular subject, we will be looking at fiberglass rebar. Now, according to AmericanFiberglassRebar.com, it is a spiral-wrapped fiberglass structural reinforcing rod made from a combination of fiberglass, roving, and resin. The use of this material has been steadily increasing in recent years due to its many, many benefits. Just to list a few, it's lightweight, incredibly durable, and has an amazing lifespan. Caleb and Bailey will be sure to elaborate on this a little further on in the video. GFRP began being developed in the 1930s and has since become a very common construction material. One of the most famous projects that was constructed out of GFRP was the House of Tomorrow that was at the time in Disneyland. As a testament to the material's durability, when they tried to demolish the building in 1967, a wrecking ball just bounced right off. The creation of fiberglass rebar came about because of the amazing versatility of GFRP and how they can form it into nearly any shape they need. Fiberglass rebar is very versatile in its uses due to its highly unique properties. At one-fourth the weight of steel, it is used anywhere where weight could be an issue, such as bridges, tops of buildings. This loss of weight also cuts down on the transportation costs, such as when they load trucks too heavy, which can be subject to high fines. This can cut down on this problem. Um, it's also non-corrosive, which basically means that you can use it anywhere that is near water, chemicals, anything that could damage the rebar. Um, its non-corrosive capabilities allow it to be used anywhere where water is a common occurrence, such as seawalls, bridges, dams, pools, canals. This will help the longevity of the project and allow it to stay in much finer condition. It's also not sub subject to chemical corrosion, which would help it uh, be useful for laboratories, car washes, bridges where salt and other deicers are used. And along with these, it is also non-conductive and thermally non-conductive, which uh, would make it very useful for like sublevels of houses or power plants, nuclear power plants, anywhere where the power or electricity could be subjected to the concrete. Fiberglass rebar is also extremely durable, so it could be used anywhere that there may be constant abuse to the concrete. Its excellent fatigue resistant strength makes it great for silica load situations such as roads, bridges, anywhere that there's going to be constant abuse to the concrete. Since it has no metal, it is also radar transparent, which could prov prove useful for military applications since it would provide stealth and also airports so that it would not interfere with the radar gadgets. Since it has no metal in it, it's also highly useful for places that will have highly sensitive electrical equipment such as hospitals and airports. Those are the main properties and uses of fiberglass rebar and what it's used for in the industries today. Now we're going to talk about the pros and cons of fiberglass rebar as opposed to steel rebar. Many of the advantages as highlighted by Caleb are its high strength versus weight ratio, corrosion resistance, Low thermal conductivity, it's not electromagnetically transparent, non-conductive, and has a high cyclic rate.
but many of the disadvantages include a high initial cost as compared to the steel rebar, susceptibility to a fire, inability for it to be bent in the field, you have to have it bent at the factory and sent out like that. Another disadvantage is that it's highly susceptible to UV light and proper cutting or aggressive handling. But many of the other advantages of fiberglass rebar include a lead credit possible for use of the fiberglass rebar, possible savings in the long run because fiberglass rebar is supposed to last up to a hundred years versus twenty years for steel rebar, savings on patching of the concrete because the fiberglass rebar does not corrode therefore there is less likely to be any cracking so you can maintain a cosmetically attractive structure over time resulting in higher property resale values for concrete buildings and the slabs used with this rebar have a cyclic load lasting 20 times longer than steel reinforced slabs and so that is a brief overview of the pros and cons of fiberglass rebar in conclusion now knowing what some of the common uses are for fiberglass rebar and having weighed the pros and cons of using the material, we can reasonably conclude that fiberglass rebar is a viable alternative, and in some cases, a better choice than steel rebar for many different construction projects. Thank you for watching.